everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I'm coming at you with a brand new foundation review. It's been a little while since I've done one of these so I'm super excited to dive back in. Today's foundation in question is one that I've been wanting to try for so freaking long. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This is in the newest paler shade which is 00A Porcelain. I got this foundation from Beauty Bay. I believe it's available in Walmart in the US. This was £13. There was a 19 shade options. So let's get into the claims before we get into the swatches. So this is supposed to be a full coverage concealer and a liquid foundation. It's supposed to apply seamlessly over the face offering a flawless matte complexion, reducing the need for any separate concealer. It's supposed to be a richly pigmented formula which requires just one layer you hear that one layer for a naturally perfected water resistant veil that covers everything from blemishes and redness to dark circles and imperfections. Now the shade porcelain was for fair with neutral pink undertone so I am more neutral I would say so this was the perfect kind of shade for me. But let's get straight into the swatches. I'm going to show you a few of my other foundations and how this shade compares to my other ones I already use. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here are the swatches. We have the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Here is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain also. This is the Revolution Drop Foundation in the shade F1. Here is the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 1 Neutral. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Matte Foundation in the shade 10 Porcelain. This is Fenty Beauty in the shade 110. And finally, that's MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10. My stool right now, the leg is completely broken, so if I'm a little more wonky, it's because my stool currently is wonky. <laughs> so I've already primed my skin as usual. I'm using the Fasali Unicorn Essence and the Professional by Benefit. They have just been like my favorite combination now to make my skin all prepped and primed. I'm starting a little late in the game today. It's currently half past two, but we're gonna get this on before three o'clock and I stay up quite late, so we're gonna get a long wear test out of this. So I'm gonna be doing my usual. I'm gonna be using the Y6 and the Sports Direct sponge for my applicators to see which one I prefer. I haven't actually done a foundation review in a while now, so I'm kinda out of touch, so forgive me. We're gonna be trying on this baby. I'm so excited. I hope this shade is okay. This is the new lighter shade that they brought out. This is 00A Porcelain. My top today is rather high, so I can't... We're gonna try swatching it to my chest anyway. I'm just gonna see what consistency this is on my little glass palette here. So it is kind of thick. It is quite a thick consistency. The shade looks pretty good. Yes, I just made a mess because... I'm clumsy. The shade does look pretty pale, so hopefully this should match pretty well to my chest. Okay, so that's the shade there. It actually looks like it'll be an okay match. The undertone is quite good. Yeah, I think I can work with that if it doesn't oxidize. It kind of is getting like an orange ring around it, so that isn't that promising. I'm just gonna go straight in with the sponge on my face. Look how thick it is, it's not absorbing at all. Kind of like a dry formula, there isn't a lot of like movement at all or fluidity to it, if that's the correct word. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more because apparently this is supposed to be like full coverage. I think it's just the way that I applied it directly from the sponge. It's kind of sheared it out a little bit. I'm gonna try a different approach, I'm gonna try dotting it and then blending it out because I have a feeling my sponge has absorbed quite a lot from going in with the sponge, but we'll try it this way. It is very thick, but it doesn't feel it on the skin currently. Just hoping we can build the coverage up a little bit more. It's still not covering up that freckle right there, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but so far, I don't hate the way that it looks on the sponge side. I actually quite like the way it actually looks on my skin. The only thing is, is that my freckles are still coming through after about two layers of it now. It's laying nicely, it's not enhancing my pores. It's quite a nice finish as well. It's like a natural finish, virgin on dewy. I don't feel like there's a lot in my skin at all. It doesn't feel thick as it looks. So far, I'm quite happy with it. The only thing is the coverage. Like, I feel like you can still see a lot of my freckles and things that are underneath. So let's try it with the brush side and see if I get any more coverage. I'm gonna do the same and dot it on this side. Let's see how this goes. 
Ooh. Okay. And then a lot more coverage on this side. I think you might be able to tell, but I got a lot more coverage with the brush, with the stippling motions. Still, stuff is still coming through. My freckles are still coming through. So I wouldn't call this like an ultimate full coverage foundation at all, which you know is called Conceal and Perfect. So you would have thought it would have been full coverage. I don't hate it though. I actually quite like the way it lays on my skin. And it's, yeah, I don't know, it's a nice finish. As far as the difference between the brush and the sponge side, you can see on this side there's a lot more coverage here. And you can kind of see, not redness, but you can kind of see like my skin coming through on this side. So I do kind of prefer the sponge side finish, just the look of it. So maybe brush then sponge. <laughs> I'm going to quickly go over it. I think this just adds moisture back in and really helps it sink into the skin so you can like add the coverage with the brush and then just make it all melt together with the sponge you don't know you can tell it just makes it look better i feel like this side looks more dewy than this side now <laughs> just gonna add a little bit more coverage on this side kind of make it more even guess what someone's running a freaking bath again and uh yeah always when i film just always when i film and it's like it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon why is someone running a bath right now why are they even home i don't know <laughs> the only other thing that i'm kind of noticing is it kind of looks orangey on this side but not on this side i don't know why that is <laughs> it's just my eyes but i like the shade i feel like it matches my neck quite nicely although I might be a little bit darker because of the weather we've had here. I don't think I catch a tan. I think I catch a tint. <laughs> so my body just like, go away earring who invited you to party. Really I did because I put you in but stuff. So far though, I like the way my skin looks. I know that I have a bit of beef with not covering these marks on my face even though it says it's going to be medium to full coverage and I might be able to build it up a little bit more but I don't want to add any more products to my face. I've already done about four pumps on this and this stuff is thick but I love the finish of this. It's kind of matting down a little bit. The sponge side is still a little bit more dewy than the brush. Maybe setting spray will help with that but it's laying really nicely on my forehead. It's still not accentuating any of my pores or any of my like fine lines or anything. It's smooth over the skin really nicely and it's given me a subtle radiant finish but it's still natural and drying down. It still feels a little tacky though. Um, I kind of removed a little bit of the foundation when I did that so I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to leave it for a minute or so, see if it dries down. If not, I'm going to set it. I'm actually going to be trying out some new stuff today that I got, some new concealers and things. So I'm going to be trying those out but I'm going to be filming that for a different video for you guys. So I'm going to go and finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Hi guys, so I just wanted to check in with you. I finished all my makeup and everything like that. So this is what my face currently looks like. I filmed another video, first impressions for you. That'll be probably going up after this video. If it's already up, I'll leave a little link in the eye over here. It hasn't been that long since I finished my makeup, so it's still pretty fresh. It's now half past four, so it's been about an hour since this was all finished. So it's still pretty much looking the same. There's no changes at all, really. But I just thought I'd show you what my makeup looks like and uh, yeah. So I'll see you in a few hours to check in and we'll see what it looks like then. Hi guys. So it's been about four hours since I last did a little update. It is now half past seven, so it's been on for about four hours and I just wanted to see if there's any changes. Okay, it's still pretty much looking the same. I'm getting like a little bit oily by here on my cheek area, but it still pretty much looks exactly the same. It's looking a little bit textured on like my upper lip and kind of my chin area. Coverage and everything is still there. It just looks a little bit, not creasy, but kind of collecting in my chin by here. But apart from that, I'm liking the way that my skin is looking, so I'm gonna continue wearing it for a few more hours and I'll catch up with you guys then. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. It is now 20 to 11 in the evening. So this has been on for about seven hours. So we're coming up to a full day's kind of wear like eight hours wear typically and this is what I'm currently looking like. The lashes are off, my lipstick's all over the place because I've eaten. <laughs> I've changed into my Disney nightdress. <laughs> just want to see what the foundation looks like. I'm ready to chill. But let's have a look 
at the foundation. Okay, so I'm looking pretty oily. Quite oily around here, here. I feel like it's fading a little bit, like coverage wise. And like, it feels, I wouldn't say tacky, but it's just like picking up a lot on my finger. I don't know if you can see that. My oils are just like making it very movable and I don't know how I feel about that. Overall I still think it looks okay. Um, I feel like though you can tell it is kind of fading especially where the concealer is. It's kind of going a bit transparent even like my skin's kind of coming through. My forehead is looking quite dewy as well but it's not crazy oil. Um, it's just bringing it through with the foundation itself. I'm going to have it on for a few more hours even though I really want to take this eye makeup off because it's gone to and I'm going to stick with it for a few more hours so I can get a longer wear test for you guys. See exactly what it does, does it break apart, does it go blotchy, anything like that. Because it currently hasn't done that, it's just kind of faded. Yeah, we'll see what it looks like in a few more hours. Hey guys, this is going to be my final check-in. It's currently gone half past one in the morning. I'm very tired, you can probably hear it in my voice even. I'm ready for bed. I just want to take this off my face right now. <laughs> feel oily so let's take a look at what I'm looking like. This softbox light is so bright at one o'clock in the morning honestly. It's burning my retinas right now. So the found oh gosh <laughs> yeah I'm just looking really really oily right now. That's gross. Hmm I have tamed a spot on this side which it's never a good sign. It's kind of come off my nose pretty much. It's kind of faded on my cheeks like by here. And my forehead is looking very oily. My cheeks are looking very oily. My chin's looking very oily, which typically my chin doesn't get that oily. And also my like cheeks by here are very oily too. I was reading the back of this earlier by the way, and it's supposed to be water resistant and sweat proof. Um, my face is not like it has proofed any sweat right now. <laughs> I agree with it being lightweight because I can't feel it. It's literally just my oils that like I can feel and I usually would have washed my face by now but I didn't for this review. I wouldn't say that it's long wearing on combo to oily skin because it's broken down and I don't know. I just, I don't like the way it's really looking. On my upper lip it's kind of looking cakey. I don't usually get that, but my oils have just kind of taken this one. It's kind of a bit sticky. The one I was applying it, it was like a sticky, tacky kind of base. Which, don't get me wrong, that went away when I put the powder on it. But the feelings kind of come back after my oils have kind of come through. I'm just going to go over it with a sponge to absorb some of the oil because I just don't like the way I'm looking right now. Like this, right here, that's not highlight. <laughs> that is gross. Using a beauty sponge tends to help a little bit. That's kind of like taken the cakiness away and the oil away, but still, I look like I haven't got that much foundation on and a lot of concealer. It's just kind of melted off and my redness is coming through. I can see it in my viewfinder that I'm looking very concealer heavy right now and I look a little bit crazy. I'm just doing my head in. Final thoughts on this foundation. It's supposed to be medium to full coverage. I felt that I got more highlights to medium coverage in all honesty because my freckles weren't covered up. I tried building it up a little bit in that area and it still didn't really cover it so I wouldn't say this is full coverage for me. It was lightweight once I put it on. I couldn't feel anything on my skin even though it was kind of like tacky on my actual face. I didn't feel heavy or anything. It was just to the touch. It was kind of tacky and I think that's just because it was such like a thick formula. One thing I forgot to mention is that this is an oil-free formula so that's a good thing. It didn't really seem to help my oils so uh, they still they still fought their way through and uh, were determined to make an appearance with this one. It's supposed to be long wearing. Uh, I wouldn't really say that it's long wearing. I've had it on for about 10 hours but typically long wearing I would say would be at least 10 hours. The colour was awesome. I feel like that was a perfect colour for me. It didn't oxidise, which I'm thankful for. I think I might try it with different primers, different setting sprays, different powders and all that jazz to see. It was other products that made it go this way, although I use the normal products that I would for any other kind of foundation review. But I'm going to try it again and see, you know, if I get different results then. And I'll let you guys know if that is the case. But first impressions, 
for this review i don't know how i feel about it but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you enjoy foundation reviews and general beauty product reviews then don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button that'll be next to the subscribe button so you get notified when i upload if you like my disney show give this video a like and i am gonna go wash my face so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you come back for the next video and I shall see you then. Bye guys. Zero zero eight. So got sleep in my eye. No. How? It's like two o'clock. <laughs> Hello, that car. Hurry up. Thank you. Don't get it on your shirt, Carrie Do not get it on your shirt. It actually quite look. Actually quite look. Get off my face. It's kind of smoothed over the, oh, it's kind of smoothed, smoothed, it's kind of smoothed over the, oh my god, I cannot speak, ew, I got crusty foundation on right now, it's kind of smoothed over the skin, I can't speak today, it's kind of, <clears throat> it's smoothed over the, oh my god, and do a full faced first impression, and, <coughs> Jesus Christ, Motorcycle when you are done. My name is Kiriel, and today I'm coming out with you. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. Just stop. One thing I forgot to mention is that it's an oil feet. I'm so tired.